This video will cover the Wittig reaction. The Wittig reaction is another example of a carbon-carbon bond forming reaction. The new carbon-carbon bond is a carbon-carbon double bond formed between the carbon of a carbonyl containing compound, an aldehyde or a ketone, and the carbon of something called a phosphorus ilin. Combining the carbonyl compound with the phosphorus ilid creates a new compound containing an alkene. The other product is triphenylphosphine oxide. This reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction where the carbonyl compound is reduced and the phosphorus is oxidized. The Wittig reaction takes advantage of the reactivity of the phosphorus ilid. An ilid is a molecule that has a net charge of zero, but that contains a carbanion that is bonded to a positively charged heteroatom. Remember that a carbanion is a carbon that has a negative charge and a lone pair of electrons. And a heteroatom is a non-carbon atom, such as phosphorus. Let's take a closer look at the nucleophilic carbon atom in the phosphorus ilid. Notice that this carbon atom has a lone pair of electrons and a negative charge, in addition to three bonds, one of which is to the positively charged phosphorus. Next, we will look at the mechanism for the Wittig reaction. In the first step of the mechanism, the carbon nucleophile of the phosphorus ilid attacks the carbonyl carbon of the ketone or aldehyde, producing a tetrahedral intermediate. This tetrahedral intermediate is unstable, and the negatively charged oxygen rapidly attacks the positively charged phosphorus to form a cyclic intermediate. This cyclic intermediate then rearranges to form the alkene product and the phosphorus oxide. Finally, let's track our two carbons that eventually become the two carbons of the alkene throughout the mechanism. The carbonyl carbon is the carbon attached to oxygen throughout the mechanism. In the tetrahedral intermediate, it becomes this carbon, and in the cyclic intermediate, this carbon. Finally, in the product, it is the leftmost carbon in the alkene. The carbon of the phosphorus ilid is the carbon attached to phosphorus throughout the mechanism. In the tetrahedral intermediate, it's this carbon. In the cyclic intermediate, it's this carbon. And in the final alkene product, it's the rightmost carbon of the alkene. The final thing to consider is how the phosphorus ilid is synthesized. The phosphorus ilid is synthesized through an SN2 reaction with triphenylphosphine. We start with an alkyl halide. The alkyl halide is first treated with triphenylphosphine. The product of this SN2 reaction is then treated with a strong base an organolithium reagent. This produces the phosphorus ilid. Let's look at the mechanism. In the first step, the triphenylphosphine, which has a lone pair of electrons on the phosphorus, attacks the alkyl halide in an SN2 reaction. In the second step, the organolithium reagent is added. In addition to being a good nucleophile, Organolithium reagents are very strong bases, strong enough to deprotonate the carbon next to the positively charged phosphorus. This forms the carbanion. While it might seem that a phosphorus ilid is a very unstable compound, having a negative charge and a positive charge on neighboring atoms, it actually is fairly stable because of resonance. The resonance structure involves contribution of the negative charge and the lone pair of electrons on carbon to the positively charged phosphorus to form a double bond. Notice that this double bond requires the phosphorus atom to have more than an octet of electrons around it. 
this is possible because phosphorus is in the third row of the periodic table. And third row and lower elements can have more than eight electrons in their outer shell. Finally, a comment on the use of the organolithium reagent in this reaction. Remember that organolithium reagents are very good nucleophiles, but they're also very strong bases. Typically, the organolithium reagent that is used for the formation of phosphorus illids is called butyl lithium. The carbon adjacent to the positively charged phosphorus in the intermediate of this synthesis does not make a great electrophile, but it is very acidic, and the butyl lithium acts as a base to deprotonate this position.